Welcome back. Now, if you love the idea of getting your fingers green but don't know where to start, help is at hand. The new Grow More initiative is encouraging garden centres and nurseries to offer free advice to plant lovers of all standards. Of all standards. That's kind, isn't it? Gardening <laughs> expert and Grow More ambassador Dermot O'Neill joins us with more practical advice on how to nurse your garden through the heat wave. Good morning to you, Dermot. Thank you. Morning, Thank you Dermot. for Delighted joining to be us here. and bringing all this colour out to our garden this morning. Thank you. Um, Grow More, first of all. Tell us about that initiative, Dermot. Well, Grow More is very important. Board Bia is behind Grow More and they have sponsors, Irish uh, growers and also they've got 68 garden centres around the country that are members. Okay. So no matter what part of the country you live in, you can visit a Grow More garden centre okay. and there's lots of good expert advice there. Also, Board Mamona and Westland, two big, big companies, are sponsoring it, which is very important to get this whole thing off the ground. And it means then that you can go to your local garden centre and the chances are it will be a Grow More garden centre mm -hmm. and get the right advice, expert advice, which will advise you on how to care for and look after these gorgeous plants. Okay. So today I've really just brought a few along some compost and a few ideas on how to conserve the moisture in your garden. Okay. If you went to your, your local garden centre and you were literally, your garden was just a scrubland, you're starting from, from base, will they give you advice, okay, here's where you start, here's the basic building block, stage one, and take it from there? Absolutely. They've qualified staff, all these centres, and their job is really to help you in the easiest way possible to get things growing and flowering in your garden, okay. or even eating them. Tomatoes are an example yeah. of something that can be grown so easily using compost, okay. like the Westland or Bordnamona compost, no problem. You can grow your own tomatoes, eat them. They're fabulous, nothing like your own And the home satisfaction grown. you'd get from growing yeah. your own would be Wonderful. huge, I'm sure. Fabulous. Um, what have you brought along this morning, Dermot? Well, we've got here a geranium, very typical plant, a gorgeous plant, loves sunshine, mm -hmm. dries out very fast, and we're going to plant it into this little window box. Okay. Keep three things together. That's a salvia. Gorgeous colour and really long lived if you deadhead it. After the flowers finish, you cut off the dead flowers using a, a secateur like that. Yeah, Very just a important. couple of little bits of equipment and that if you are starting yes. from, from absolutely mm. zero. Nothing. Uh, a secateurs. Very trowel, important. A secateurs needs to be clean. You can spread disease otherwise. Mm. So you need it and it's easy to clean. A baby wipe would do it. Just clean your secateurs after use and then you just nip away on dead flowers and it encourages new ones. Okay. And a good idea also conserving water is by standing that into water, it'll take up water rather than water running all over the place. Okay. So it'll and take a more it efficient it'll way. Take, exactly. So I'll show you this. Okay. This is on the dry side. You can see there. I'm sure the camera looking. are very, not just thirsty, I'd say hungry too. Yeah. Yes. So I would stand that in water before planting. In a small amount of water, not a, you, you be economical with your water. Do not kind of splash the water on. Of course, use water it wisely. Water on the leaves burn the plant. So I'd water that and pop it in. And the same with this lovely trailing petunia. And, and can you put them all together in a box, a mix like that? This mix would work very well. That trailing petunia is going to flower for weeks. You just deadhead with your fingers, dead petunias, and that would go in, in the middle. And I'd use a compost like this. This is a multi-purpose compost, and it's got lots of nutrients already in there. Very important. Okay. So, can I ask you what the difference, when should you use a compost or a topsoil, if you're doing a, a box like this, or even just a little bit? Well, a topsoil is probably better for outdoors, a compost for a container, okay. because you're more in control. Like a soil can get very sticky and could run or could be just very heavy. Yeah. Where I think a compost is already designed for the job and will have enough nutrients in there. And if you look at this, it's gorgeous. Just look at that beautiful, beautiful. It's peaty, isn't it? Yeah, yes. it's peat based and it's full of all the nutrients needed for plants. So it's very high in potassium, which encourages these gorgeous flowers. So very simply, all I'm going to do 
is I make sure, obviously, the first thing you check always that there's drainage in the bottom. Yep. There has and to in be the drainage. bottom of this, if you look in, you can see there are holes there, very yes. important. Without that, the plant drowns. Yes. So you need drainage. You may need to put more in, and in the garden centre, they're happy to do that for you. Okay. So your Grow More garden centre is fantastic. They'll go through all the things you need mm. to know, and they'll help you set up everything. And then you pop in your compost. I'm doing this by hand. You don't mind getting your hands dirty. No, he's not hand. afraid no. of that. No. Not like you, Tommy. Eh? <laughs> yeah. It's your manicured hands. <laughs> <laughs> These things are insured. Millions. Your hands are insured for millions. <laughs> Great. Now, just ordinary compost and easy to wash off later. So I'm putting it in the bottom. Now, sometimes in the base, I get polystyrene. Uh, from a tray and break it up for extra drainage and put it in the bottom. It's light ah. and it gives me that extra bit of drainage. Okay. I've none at the moment, but that would be going in the bottom normally. You would do that. I okay. do that. That's just so, aerates the soil, uh, increase a bit of gap. For and gives gives it more drainage, quicker drainage. Yeah. And then I'm working out that these three plants would look fantastic like this. So I'm popping it in. So it's just at the level, or just below the level of the top. And then I'll pull the compost to settle that one in. To support them. To support it. And then this one should be probably a little bit more watered than that. So we'll give it a good soaking later. Mm -hmm. Very, very carefully. So we're not wasting water. Very important. Absolutely. We're going to get onto that in, in a moment. Yes. Um, and it's three ideal for this, uh, a box of this size. Perfect. Go that, because so. with this, we've got a gorgeous petunia. Scented flowers that trail and they're very, very abundant in the number of flowers that come out. Superb colour. And that, as a window box, is just fantastic. The, co the colours work so well together, they're don't brilliant. they? They're brilliant. Dermot, before we run out of time, will you just give us some advice on keeping what we do have alive at the moment? Because we obviously don't want to go around with the hose. Well, I encourage people now to go out and buy water butts, rain butts. These are butts that attach onto the house and collect rainwater, very important. And you can put in several mm. of those. There's no limit to what you can have. Okay. And then you've got your own rainwater when you need it. Also, a sprinkle bar on your watering can is a great idea. You may have to order that. It's a little bar that limits the amount of water coming out and so directs really it. Make the most of it. You make the most of your water. Okay. And then a mulch like this, Westland do a fabulous mulch. This is made using, if you look at that, that's bark. But you have to have the soil wet first. Before and, you put that down. And then when that goes on top, it holds in that moisture okay. and conserves it and makes a big, big difference. And this is really good quality. And that eventually will, eventually will rot down into your soil and add nutrients to the, to the ground and Brilliant. help the whole thing. And a day like yesterday when there was a bit of cloud, is that your ideal day rather than blue sky day today? Well, if you can. If you can. If, I if mean, can. it's very hard to kind of work out what day you're going to do what. Yeah. Of course. But try also to wear a sun block. You don't want to come out like a tomato at the end of the day. No, you don't. <laughs> Dermot, some solid so advice. Easy. We're out of Great time stuff, as Dermot. always, but thank you very much you're for welcome. joining us this morning. Thank you. Now, still to come, two of the stars of Copper Face Jacks, the musical, are stopping by for a chat. Plus, we have a chocolate cherry cake in the kitchen and more bridal oh, styles great. on the catwalk. <laughs> Stay with us, Dermot. Stay for a bit. <laughs> Stay for a bit. <laughs>